Alrighty, yep. Hope you guys are doing alright. Uh, we're gonna have more of a chill chill stream tonight, so, uh, like, uh, I don't have any dailies or anything like that to do, but we're basically just gonna play a little bit in the festival since, uh, yeah, normally I'd probably be playing in here anyway, so. Alright. See you guys. Uh, if you decide to watch, you know, this VOD later on YouTube, appreciate it. But, uh, I'm not gonna be talking as much in this one either, because my, uh, my voice kinda hurts to be honest, but, uh, yeah. Alright, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Oh man, I kind of wish I went first with this hand, Venus and Hyperion, dang man. <laughs>
Oh man, please tell me I have another uh, of the level five in here. If I do, I think we're good. Oh, I do. <laughs> well done, Onoki. But what will you do about the second meteor? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like we won, so we're gonna be him a little here. <laughs>
in, uh, I don't know how close we are to 11,000 with the 300 gems, but if we're close, I guess, I guess we'll go for that in this stream, and then, uh, but if not, like, I'll play, like, two or three more games, we'll call it good. Man, it, I'm getting bad luck, too. I haven't gone first at all in any of these games. It's crazy. All right. no say branded what the oh well I guess that despots are fair easy <laughs> Okay, looks like we only need like another thousand, and if you win, you get 500. So, yeah, I guess we'll go for that in the stream and we'll call it good.
Oh wow, is this a mirror match? <laughs> Oh wow, <laughs> it is a mirror match, that's about far to advance. Wow, okay. <laughs> hmm, is this attack game permanent? Oh no, no, just a minute. Okay. Hmm. That's an interesting way, because uh, normally the weakness with Bountiful Artemis is that, you know, it is pretty weak, but uh, that's an interesting workaround. <laughs> oh man, I can't draw any monsters here to save my life. Um, a little boost by the difference, which is, what, six? Hmm, well I wouldn't be dead next turn, but... Uh, I think I should... Hmm, let's just do this right here. Yeah. Cause maybe I can get away with setting honest here, honestly. We'll try. What in the world? This... <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll uh, try setting honest and seeing if that works. Now in my turn. Hmm. And I know he only had two back row there, but the reason I dust her there is because, uh, yeah, when I play Fallen Sanctuary, my zones are actually going to be full, so, yeah. Hmm. I'm guessing he'll only go for... Oh, no, he did go for six. Wow. Oh, and you know what? I just realized this is the combo. Pot of Prosperity plus this card, Rainbows of... That's funny. That's actually a pretty funny way to uh, get your extra deck pretty low in cards. Oh, I'll probably take Solemn Judgment, yeah. Yeah, that's probably the play. Oh, and this works when I play Counter Traps too. Okay, I need to get rid of this. Uh, his Bountiful Artemis as soon as possible. As soon as possible. I did not know that was like both sided <laughs> if your opponent plays a counter. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, and I, I think we will be able to make it to the next turn because since he played pot, any damage I take now is hollow. So, yeah, he might link though. But yeah, if he does clear me, then oof, Meltiel. But he doesn't have Sanctuary of the Sky yet. So, wait on the field. Oh man. <laughs> and I'm gonna play Sanctuary in the Sky right now with Fallen Sanctuary. So, definitely gotta watch out, man. This is crazy, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, looks like we're good. Hmm.
Okay, I could really use a monster here. Let's see. And that'll work, honestly. That will work. Okay. Basically, I'm going to try to clear his Bountiful Artemis this turn. Definitely have to do that, so... No, that's okay. Um... Hmm... Well, I, actually, I guess I don't have to do that. That could summon Earth, and then... Uh, no, honestly, at this point, it is better for me to just... Yeah, just sit on this, because I've got, like... I've got the counters set up, so... Honestly, better for me to just... Yeah, return Honest to hand, and... Oh, right. He did take Divine Wrath. Well, that's okay. I'm gonna draw a card now, too, and play Solemn Judgment. Uh, we'll play... What do you discard? Oh, Valkyrie? Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll play Solemn Judgment here. I think Divine Punishment's better all overall because... Yeah. yeah. But dang, I think he's gonna get all three effects here, which is crazy. But... Yeah. Maybe I should've just let him destroy Honest, I don't know. Yeah. And now he should be able to destroy a card. I think. Yeah, with Neltio. Dang, man. It, basically, that kind of helped him out. So this does work if your opponent has Sanctuary in this guy. That's nuts. Okay, well. Oh, and we drew Honest. That is lucky. That is pretty lucky. He should get a Surge, too, with uh, Power Angel Valkyrie. Right? Oh, no, because I negated, so he didn't negate. Okay. Well, I'm going to let him assume that I don't have anything. And we're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna end the turn. Yep. Hopefully I get another monster here. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. So I could kite you away one of his monsters if I'm worried about it. Hmm. Don't really have much to work with here. I think we have to go defense mode, believe it or not. And just uh Hmm, maybe I should kaiju away this. No, no, no. Because hopefully he just can't attack. Or doesn't have any extra deck monsters left. That's my best bet, honestly. Yeah. So, because if I give him a kaiju, he can just beat over Bountiful. I don't have anything to stop attacks right now. Hmm. This mirror match is interesting, for sure. <laughs> Did not know, you know, Meltio and uh, Bountiful were, you know, all fields. <laughs> as far as the counter traps, so. Hmm. Pretty, pretty interesting. Yeah, you got Power Angel Valkyrie. I mean, these three are pretty good, having all three at the same time. So, yeah, he's going to destroy it by battle, and that's that's going to be game, I think. Yeah, because I can't, I can't negate attacks or anything. That's crazy. I'll probably take a look at this guy's deck after this. I'm just, I'm just interested in what they're running. You know, definitely three each of these, but... Ooh, let's see. Yeah, wow. That was pretty interesting. Well, at least now I know, like in the mirror match, not to play Sanctuary in the Sky, you know. 
or at least like once I notice, because that definitely helped him out. Uh, turning on his um his own uh, melty effects definitely helped him out. So what do we got here? Yep, <laughs> two that law yard. Well, I guess this can get banished cards back. Yeah, that's crazy. It's actually a plus one. You can get it to go off. That's crazy. Uh, but they have to be banished. But still, yeah, it's pretty good. Minerva, yeah. Yep, yeah, this is just basically like a level four counter fairy deck. And then you got a couple Parshads, because I imagine they have, yeah, 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 they have the Reaper, and they're playing the Synchro Parshad. So, pretty interesting deck. And, like, do they even have level 4s? Uh, they got Baguska, but, <laughs> I mean, honestly, the, the way their board was set up, I wouldn't have traded, traded that in for Baguska either. But, yeah, and then we're into this. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, basically some pot cards to just get to, you know, try to get to one of your counter monsters. And then, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe they're on two of this card. Interesting. But then again, it is the monster type festival. So you know what? That is a pretty that's a pretty funny gimmick because like, okay, the only types you're allowed to summon in this festival are fiends and fairies. So the odds that your opponent is gonna summon like a fiend when you have a fiend is pretty high, or a fairy when you have a fairy. Yeah, so and in fact, like no matter what, if you summon you know any monster in this festival. Um, you, you have, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, unless your opponent's you playing, like, you know, all fairies, which I am, or all fiends, like, regardless, you have, like, a 50% chance to just hit everything, which is pretty crazy. So, which is definitely higher than the normal chance you have, like, normally. I mean, the odds of this card going off are not that high. But in a festival like this, where the types are limited, the odds, in fact, the odds might be even higher, like, 75 or 80%, you know? Especially, but the hot the odds are like even higher if your opponent is playing both types. So, yeah, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Like ultimate providence. Oh, okay. That's interesting. It's kind of like a solemn kind of. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen that card before. Anyway. Honestly, I hope I draw the main deck Parshath. What is it called? Like Archlord Parshath or something? Because we've got Valhalla, so that's pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. I guess a Time Lord would also be pretty good because it looks like a Labyrinth deck. So if we got Michion, we could actually special summon it. Try to clear the back row first. Yeah, Michion would be a pretty good draw here. Yeah. Pretty good.
a little unfortunate. Hmm. I think my best shot here... Yeah, here's the problem. I know his field spell... Hmm. Can pop something during my turn. You know what? Let's try to bait the field spell pop with this. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let's try to bait him to play the field spell right now. Because he can only do this once per turn. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully if I just activate it, he will pop it. Because basically I want him to pop this and not Bountiful Artemis. So. Hmm. We'll see. Hmm. Is he reading it? Okay, let's try it now. Let's see if he'll pop it. Oh no, he did not. Okay, well, he's probably gonna pop down for Artemis now. That's just a reality. No? Okay. Summon this over here. I guess I'll grab Venus here. And. Hmm. Okay, so I could at this point, I could go for Moon. Um, and honestly, I probably should. Yeah, j if nothing else, just to get rid of the field spell. Probably my best move. I know I'll lose out on some advantage from Down of Florida Manus, but probably my best move, honestly. So, I'll just give it a try. I'll use this to send an Neptune, like usual. Yeah. Now he's probably going to play his Labyrinth card, most likely. Oh, uh, excuse me. Yeah, because he probably wants to protect this field spill. No? Wow. Okay, thanks. Okay, well, I'll well, just... I'll get rid of it for you. Bye bye. Yeah, cause that's really the biggest problem he has. I know he's got like a uh, welcome labyrinth and stuff, but yeah, the biggest problem is the field spell for sure. Okay, so I guess I'll set this. Set this. Not in my turn. I wonder if they'll target something on the field or go for my hand. Hmm. Honestly, if they hit Divine Punishment, that's going to be really bad for this. Hmm. Or if they hit Rebirth down here. Dang, that, that's kind of bad too. <laughs> that's kind of bad too, honestly. Oh well. <laughs> the way it goes sometimes. And honestly, they might be able to OTK me. I don't know. Dang, bro. Geesh. Hmm. Yep, so there's the game. Jeez. Man. <laughs> they basically had had everything set up. Yeah. Like even if I had drawn my best hand, I'm not sure I could have. I'm not sure I could have. That's exactly why I kinda wanted to draw Zafi on there. Just to clear all that back row. Like man. I'm not sure I could have made it past this regardless. Uh, that was crazy. Wow. <clears throat> hmm. 
Oof. Man, and they hit Rebirth. Okay, now I know it's over for sure, man. Because <laughs> they, they hit that, so. It's just like, there's, there's no way, bro. <laughs> wow. Oof. Man, that, that was basically full combo Labyrinth right there, and that was nasty. <laughs> oh, boy. Gaia the Fierce Knight, you can't play that during this event, he's a warrior, what? Ooh, yes, yes, alright, hopefully they don't have imperm, infinite impermanence, because we're gonna go ham, if they don't. Let's see. Ooh, they're thinking they might have an imperm. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> All right. Honestly, I'm gonna. I think I'm, they probably shouldn't have played all this early. I'm probably gonna punish them for, yeah, setting all this up. Normally, like on my first turn, I wouldn't have anything to pop. But now I do. I have a couple targets I can pop, so it's honestly kind of a misplay by them. Excuse me. Okay. Hmm. All right, there we go. Let's start linking. Hmm. You know, I could make this monster in this matchup too. Hmm. Spell or trap card or effects. Hmm. I could, yeah. Hmm. I I would have like one negate with that. Maybe, maybe. Or I think I'll go with the standard line actually. So we have that. Send Neptune. Okay, and then, yep, vanish Neptune, okay. because this normally says, let's add Sanctuary in the Sky, this says, yeah, while well, you control a set card, your opponent can't target and it can't be destroyed, but if your field's clear, then, hmm, okay, so let's do this, yeah, that's all I was saying, like, he probably shouldn't have gave me you know, targets to hit. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And then if I activate chicks were in the sky, I can uh, hit it again. So, yeah, kind of a misplay on his part, really. Okay, so let's say goodbye to this lovely lady. Bye bye. Nice. Okay. And see, and now we got the shadow imprisoning mirror too. That's gonna be really good. Um. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's what I was saying, man. That's what I was saying, bros. It's like, yeah, you probably shouldn't have, uh, like, I understand that Labyrinths can set up and one set up, but dude, that, that's exactly why, like, all the Labyrinths card, you do it in an end phase, bro. You just set it all up in end phase, because that way, that way you don't have to worry about your board getting popped. You know, generally speaking, generally speaking, so. Yeah, that was, that was a bad mistake on his part, so. Hopefully now he realizes that, because that's, yeah, there's just no need to do all that during, like, my main phase, you know, of the first turn. Hmm. Oof, oof, this hand is rough. This, this, ooh, this is not ideal. Um, hmm. I'll try it. I'll try this one, guys. But honestly, I might surrender on this one if we, uh, hmm. I don't even want to set Rebirth Face down, but I will as a bluff. Yeah, especially if I see, like, any Labyrinth cards, we're just going to scoop on this one because it's like, I don't know what else to do with this hand. Look at this. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yep, that's all she wrote, boys. 
<laughs> I mean, I could have stayed there just to play it out, but no, nah, like, I mean, come on. I was bluffing. I didn't have nothing. <laughs> we went from, like, the worst, uh, the best hand, you know, the, just the game before, to, like, the worst hand. Well, I guess that wasn't the worst hand. The worst hand is Mystical Shine Ball, Mystical Shine Ball, Mystical Shine Ball, like Sanctuary in the Sky, and then just any other card. That That's, that's the worst hand. Like, Sanctuary in the Sky is a Garnet, and the Shine Balls are Garnets. Honestly, drawing one is, it's okay, because then you can use, uh, you know, the Link Parsha. You can just discard the Shine Ball for that, so like, drawing one's okay. But, yeah. Yeah, drawing all three is, oof. And believe me, I have before. With the, with the Agent deck, I definitely have before. And that feeling, it just sucks when it happens, so. Uh, anyway. Oh yeah, what do you do again? I forget. Normal summon, add a forbidden card during your opponent's main phase. Yeah. We haven't got a chance to try this card out yet, but I'm very excited to. During your opponent's main phase, you can tribute this card, special summon any level 4 or fairy from the... Uh, yeah, that's really good, because normally there's no way to search Bountiful Artemis, you know, easily, so to speak, so... That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. So they're gonna play Welcome Labyrinth first turn. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's just go for it, I guess. Venus? And let's see if they've got, like, Compulse or something. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if they do. You know? I think it, there are three Compulse in the starter deck as well, so. Would not shock me. Guess they're maybe reading Venus? Or they're thinking about they want to play one of their traps. Um, hmm, this lets them destroy it, right? That's pretty good here, too. Hmm. Yeah. That's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, well, I kind of had to go for it there, to be perfectly honest, so. Unfortunately, Venus was my best playmaker in my hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. So which one did you get out? The one that... Yeah, this one pops cards, doesn't it? Or can pop cards in the hand, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, he's gonna pop one right now. Not good, honestly. Dang, got back jack too. Wow. Yeah, pretty good for them. Hmm. Well, we'll try to hang on in this one, but honestly guys, this looks pretty much over. Hmm. The only thing about Labyrinth is yeah, like yeah, they do play a lot of traps, so sometimes their damage output isn't there, you know. If you just don't get the exact trap cards that you want, yeah. Anyway.
Mm. Mm. Fallen Sanctuary would have been good here, because I could have stopped this special summon, but... Yeah, I don't know. This one's not looking too good, boys and girls. I don't know. <clears throat> and... Okay, yeah, it looks like no matter what, if we do three duels, then we'll get the 300 gems. So, yeah, we'll go with that, and then we'll either in three duels or one win, we'll end the stream. So, man, second again, holy crap. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. All right, let's hope we get Venus. Venus, 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 Venus. I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your desire. And they don't get in perm. Oh, <laughs> Two shine balls. Hmm. And yeah, this hand is tough, but you know, at least we got a way to potentially get to Venus. So I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, we'll end the turn. Just one face down. Hmm. I'm surprised they let me go first. That's yeah. Dang. And the one time they do, we break. That's crazy. <laughs> oh man. What are you gonna do, right? Wow, just one face down? That's it's crazy. Okay. I get key. Hmm. Honestly? I kinda want them to trigger their face down. So I can use Valkyrie, so I'm gonna actually summon this in attack. <laughs> Fear my mystical shine ball. There you go. What is it? Right for jar. Hmm. Once we're turned, you can discard a card, draw a card, and show it in mint. Hmm. Honestly? Huh. Oh wait, what can I saw on that? Oh, because this isn't summon any monsters, right? Okay, I was, I, I was hoping it was like a labyrinthic we were facing. And that, uh... Yeah, and that... Because my plan was just, um... My plan was just to try to trigger Solemn Warning. So we can use Valkyrie, but, you know... It turned out not to be a card that can summon, so we'll just, I guess we'll just attack with the turn ball. And I kind of still want to get the value off this. There is a good chance that they draw like an edge jump card though. Hmm. Right, we'll, we'll skip, we'll skip. Yeah. But it's fur high or something. Hmm. hmm, you know, I don't know if they have the Edge Imp Sabers yet. 
let's negate this just because. Yeah, because I don't think I can negate if they play polymerization. So we'll just negate that. We'll negate the sum of that. Yeah. Yep. Nice, nice. Well, they got the pop that time. Okay, okay. Huh, why didn't I get a card off of that? One monster would be summoned. Huh. Interesting. I don't know why I didn't get the pop off that. Ooh, that's a pretty darn good draw. Okay. We have to hope he doesn't, you know, get a pop with this. Because I really need to mill, um... I need to mill Neptune here. I mean, if it was me, would I pop that? No. But he probably should have, because... Yeah, I need two fairies to, for this, so... Uh, yeah, this is good. This is good. Okay. And I know he can use this during my turn, because he did the first time. So, honestly, I don't know what he's waiting on. Okay. Okay, and we'll mill uh, Neptune here. Okay. There he goes. Okay. And honestly, if he gets the clear, I might summon Zap. No, 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 wait. I'll be normal summon to uh, get the pop. So that card with Master Hyperion, though. I'm glad we got the mill. For sure. So, okay. Oh, he didn't get the pop. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to send Neptune. Uh -huh. Then we're going to banish Neptune. Mm -hmm. Banish Neptune. Nice. Send him this. Trigger Neptune. Or Sanctuary in the Sky. What do you have, Bro and Ash? <laughs> There's no way Ash is the lead. <laughs> uh, what is this? During your opponent's main phase, you can root what? Oh, this is the card that lets you fuse from the hand, isn't it? Ah, clever. That's one way to do it. Oh yeah, and he did draw bear. Oh, this is the one that pops my cards, I think. Yeah, interesting. interesting. Yeah. Yep, it does pop cards. So he's going to pop my Hyperion. Well, dang. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, alright. Dang, and he, he did that before I could use Hyperion's effect, too. Pretty smart, honestly. Pretty smart. Yep. Hall of its attack? Okay. Doesn't really matter. Um, I guess I could Raigeki this. Hmm. Because this card doesn't have any protection at all. Yeah, let's fire off Raigeki. Because <laughs> we're both pretty low on cards. So in this situation, this is probably the best move. Yeah, because I'll, I'll get my attack hauled to the end of my turn, but, you know. What, what, wait, what? Oh, he protected it with something. Oh, that's, a, this card's actually pretty good, so it lets you fuse on your opponent's turn and then protect it, too. It's pretty nice. Um, does he have any other ones? He does, but you can only use the effect once per turn. But you know what? I'm going to use uh, Moon's last effect, Tribute herself. Yeah, I mean, and try to pop this. Yeah, that's my best bet, really. Wait, what? Oh, he's just gonna set up his graveyard since it's getting destroyed anyway. Okay. There you go, that's fine, bro. See ya. Alright, man, we're both down to like two cards. <laughs> that's crazy. That, that, was a, that was an interesting turn, though. That was an interesting turn for both of us. But he definitely played his card right, getting rid of uh, Master Hyperion like that easily. Ooh, this card's pretty... Oh, oh. okay, we might have just lost. <laughs> Holy top deck, Batman. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Yeah, this is basically a Fright for uh, Miracle Fusion card. Dang, how many did you manage? Four? Ooh. Oh, no, you managed three. Or what in the world is that? Dangerous Fright for Nightmare. Wow. Gains three. Oh my god. Gains 300 attack for each fairy and fiend in your graveyard during your turn or only. Wow. So 
that's the strategy once you get that out, is basically fill your graveyard with fiends or fairies and yeah. Uh by battle. And your opponent activates a card or effect that targets. Yeah, that's nice. That's that's a nice card. Wait, he linked it off. Uh I'm sorry? He linked it off with the uh edge imp chain? That's interesting. Okay, uh, maybe he can revive it. I mean, I realize he's filling his cards up, but... Okay, yeah, he can revive it with Muckcracker. I see, I see. Okay, I thought he misplayed there at first, but no. That, that was good, because he gave himself some extra attack. Interesting, interesting. We're learning Fright for combo, this guy. Wow, but it only has 2,000 when it's my turn. That's crazy. Alright. Guiding Ariadne. Hmm. Well, I think my best bet here... Hmm. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think my best bet here is to run this over. Just to kind of keep him off damage. Uh, hmm. Yep, and then play Sanctuary of the Sky to stop myself from taking a lot of battle damage from this thing. I think that's my best bet, man. Yeah. I mean, I could have summoned uh, Zafi on there, and then just, you know, since it, I don't take any damage from it, but, yeah. Man, what an interesting duel, though. It's probably, like, the most interesting duel of the night. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, both of our back rows are clear, like, in this event, how often do you see that? <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Alright, go ahead. Huh. Oh, they're gonna fuse at the end phase. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, all they need is another uh, shark, another uh, fish shark, and they win basically. A uh, saber tooth. Interesting choice. Ooh, that's a good combo. Yep, that's GG. Yeah, I guess I should have. Uh... No, it's fine. I guess I should have went with Zapion, but yeah, yeah, because they. I guess they could have also just went into another. Uh, curl well and it just popped my yeah yeah nothing I could really do about that okay good game though good game wow two more duels guys and that'll be it all right i'm gonna get a drink think twice hmm okay does that mean they're gonna set like three waking the dragons and like this wicked uh uh wicked statue of the wicked and stuff like that yeah that would be pretty funny to play cards like dark coffin <laughs> In this festival, a trigger when they're destroyed. That would be actually that would be a pretty hilarious deck. In fact, it gives me an idea actually. After this duel, well, if we don't win, I'm gonna change my deck to something you know pretty, pretty based, honestly. <laughs>
Ooh. Ooh, look at this back row they had. Two big welcomes, storming, and this. Wow. Ooh, I had some good ones. Holy crap. <laughs> that is a great hand. Jeez. My goodness. It's off the back, Jack. What's he gonna hit? Oh, right. Got to draw a card for this. Right. Isn't he gonna also get to, uh... Ooh, I was going to MST that card too, but, well, that's unfortunate. Um, hmm, there's a slim chance we can survive this turn. Well, no, 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 can't this bounce stuff? Yeah, it can. Ooh. Yeah, and plus they have this one that can pop stuff, and this one that can reset stuff. Yeah, not looking good. Um, what can I reborn? Backjack? That's funny. Uh, let's play it just for the lols. Try to get them to basically use Backjack now. <laughs> yeah, because I, I really don't have nothing on this one. So. Yeah. They hit a monster, I'm going to be really sad too. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that's, that's like even worse, honestly. Alright, it's time, guys. Oh wow, it still shows the animation, even though I left. Go, Mystical Shine Ball Beatdown. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> Alright. Yep, we lost this one, but I'm just gonna take the 50 medals. <laughs> oh man. What a bad hand. Oh. Surprised they didn't use that on the end phase. Oh right, but I guess this card wasn't out in the end phase. No, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yep. Hmm. going into a link monster like why else would you normal summon back jack unless you want to do it for the flex in which that case i approve <laughs> yeah because uh one of the labyrinth players we ran into a couple streams ago they were using like the uh, what's that what's that new link the like mud racker or something like that yeah to like revive cards honestly it's not too bad oh yeah we might see it right now let's see Oh, oh, okay. That makes sense, too. That makes sense, too. Although, not really, because you didn't even get to pop a card. Um, let's do it. Forbidden Scripture, baby. Overpowered. Yeah, now you can't use your effects, buddy. 
That should be game though, right? Oh no, I still have 600 left. Or 700. Yeah. Unless they can special summon during the battle phase, which maybe they can. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, last turn. Oh boy. I might just summon and go in, honestly. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't really matter much. Alright, we'll take the medal. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so here's what I was thinking for that other deck idea. Um, let's go copy the deck we have now. The... Okay, I may need to delete a deck. Um, let's delete... This is just like the starter deck, I'm pretty sure. With Dark Magician. I can delete this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And we can delete this one will delete like two decks because I'm basically gonna make a new deck where uh, most of the effects you know trigger whenever um, the opponent destroys our cards <laughs> that's what I was thinking uh, let's go with deleting this as well yes okay there we go and now let's copy this deck okay there we go, because then I want to forget about something. There we go, okay, okay. So now let's edit this deck. <laughs> uh, we'll still leave like the agent and stuff in there as a core, but um, let's uh, you know, let's take a few of these cards out. And I guess we'll leave the counter trap stuff in there too. Um, let's remove this. Let's leave this. Remove this. Let's remove... Mm, I'll keep that. Uh, 
<laughs> Let's remove negate attack. Let's remove... Okay. And then, uh, I guess I'll keep the, these as well. Yeah, because Zapion seems so good. And so does Ar Ariadne. And now we'll move Ariadne down to, down to like, one for this gimmick deck. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll leave that too. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, for the gimmick, let's start with that. 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 Yeah, we're gonna leave the bell. I guess we'll keep on this, I guess. Uh, destruction's good. Put this down to one. Get rid of Hanawata. Maybe I should leave Hanawata for the, uh, Nurse Birds. But no, we'll get rid of that. Okay. And what we want to put now is cards that activate when they're destroyed, like I was talking about, like, Dark Coffin. <laughs> Just really silly cards. Uh, yeah. We can put, like, three of this in. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, we can put in... What else? I don't know if I have Waking the Dragons, but... Waking the... Oops. Mm, no, I do not. Okay. Probably should craft one. Oh, yeah, by the way... This, I forgot. I remember mentioning this last stream, but yeah, Eva's legal in this festival. I probably should put it in. I always forget this card's in Master Duel, but yeah. Yeah, I should have made crafted for this a long time ago. There we go. Okay. So we'll throw Eva in. Um, the other cards that activate when they're destroyed, like I was thinking of. Uh, there are some pretty good ones. Let's, uh, let's just delete this right now. Um, you know, they can also destroy cards in our hand, too. <laughs> um, well, let me, let me just look at, like, traps. Let me sort this by traps. Okay, and then, um, the, yeah, what was that one I was thinking of? Wicked Statue? Oh, Statue of the Wicked. Oh, I actually don't have this card. Okay. Um, there are other cards that do it, though. So, let's just look at some of the trap cards we got in general, actually. Yeah, I know I have a lot, but uh, those are the kind of cards I was thinking of. Traps that activate like when, when they are destroyed. Because <laughs> then if they start popping our stuff, we basically get value off of it. <laughs> just kind of a funny deck idea. There's a lot of traps I'm missing in this game. Holy crap. Okay. But yeah, I think this would be a little a little bit of a funny deck idea. And then we'll go on from there. Uh hmm. Okay. Um Jelly Cannon. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I should put this in the deck. Honestly a pretty good card. And like a lot of the labyrinth cards are immune to uh, destruction when they have traps, but they can be shuffled. So, you know what? Let's play this in here. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. What about blast with chain? That's a good idea. Blast with chain. Um. Let's see. Well, I'm sure we'll find it in here, but let's see if I, I can see any other traps I'm not thinking of right now. Uh, blast with chain is a good idea. Power wall, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I have three of this card? That's crazy. I should probably do something crazy with this card one of these days. Um, yeah, not many of these have effects when they're destroyed that I'm seeing so far. What about a, um, I just thought of a pretty funny card that I think has an effect. Okay, let me get Blast with Jane's Chain. And isn't there a scrap card? Kind of like, uh, oh wait, Blast with Chain. Isn't there a trap card that kind of works like scrap, scrap Iron Scarecrow, but for traps? Uh, Scrap Iron. Um, scrap Iron Statue. 
When a spell trap that is already face up on your opponent's field activates its effect, destroy that card after that set this card. Hmm. Okay. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target a junk monster. Oh, okay. I knew it had a d effect when destroyed. Hmm. Honestly, that might be a funny card to put in here, too. So let's, uh, let's uh, like, maybe just one of that in. Uh, Scrap Iron Signal. If When your opponent activates a monster effect... Oh, well, we're not going to be controlling a synchro monster. Um, hmm, that looks like pretty good. Hmm. Oh, well, actually, we might control a synchro monster. If we have, uh, I could focus more on getting out, uh, Executor. Hmm. Honestly, not too bad. Let's throw that in. And then we'll throw in, like, one Scrap Iron Scarecrow. A little Scrap Iron, uh, core. Come back. Uh, whoops. Go back to the traps. I'm sure there's some more I'm thinking of uh, that I, d I just can't think of right now. Like the activate when they're destroyed. Some like good ones too. Um, put it on here to the bottom. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, scramble egg. <laughs> I can play scramble egg. Uh, play this just as an extra monster. Hmm. Check target one face up trap your opponent controls. Honestly, not too bad. And it just summons itself as a normal monster. That's not too bad at all. Hmm. Okay. Um. To activate when they're destroyed. Let me think. Let me think. Maybe um, there, there's got to be some good cards. I'm just not thinking of them. Um, This card as well. Yeah, let's play this card. And then. Hmm. The laundry trap. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Uh, puppy knife. Hmm. Okay, now. Um. Hmm. This would be a funny card to try out. Hmm, okay. It doesn't have the an effect that when it pops, but still. Uh, this card's also pretty funny, potentially. Um, so until I find some cards that activate when they're destroyed, those are good options. And then... Ooh, pinpoint Guard. That's honestly a really good card. Hmm, okay. I'll see if I can... Yeah, between this stream and like next stream, I'll try to see if I can find like more cards that activate when they're destroyed like that. And then, uh, yeah, and then we'll try using a deck like that next time in the uh, ice stream. That honestly sounds like a pretty funny idea. Um, okay. Can I change the name on this? I guess not. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, we'll roll with that for now. And yeah, we'll do this last duel here. Because I think making a deck like that, where um, everything activates when it gets destroyed, is honestly a pretty funny idea against the Labyrinth. Because they have the field spell, which likes to oops, which likes to destroy your stuff, and also um, one of the ladies can destroy stuff either in your hand or on the field. So, pretty cool idea. Uh, let's copy from my deck. That's fine. Let's copy. Um, hmm, no, uh, 
Uh, what happens to the other one? Hang on. Uh, yeah, what happened to this one? Or, oh, maybe there's something in here I can't use for the festival. Did I add anything? No, I still have fiends and fairies. Um... the wrong one. Um... Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I don't know why I won't let us copy the other deck I made, but... Huh, that's weird. Whatever, I mean, either way, that's still a good idea for next festival. Huh. That's weird. I, I don't know why I won't let us copy the other one. Weird. Uh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> well, never mind. I guess we'll just go with this one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that does sound like a pretty funny idea. With like, yeah, all the description stuff. Hmm. <laughs> weird. Alright, guys. This will be the last duel of the stream. Uh, wish me luck. hand tell you what we're just gonna set one and pass <laughs> pretty interesting hand I'd say Okay, it looks like we're up against the uh, Cyber Angels. Yeah, we haven't seen this guy, these guys yet. You can discard one spell card at a... Ooh, okay, so I think I want to wait until they discard a spell card, so... Okay, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. Wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it, discard a spell card. Discard a spell card. Okay. Maybe they're going to search a spell card and then discard it. <laughs> But yeah, I think if I wait for them to discard one, then yeah. Basically, I just wanna want them to waste a card for the card advantage. Hmm. Man, yeah, we haven't seen this this deck in a while. The uh, Cyber Angel deck. Hmm. That's pretty interesting, though. I remember a couple streams ago we dueled it, and eh, they, they did some interesting plays. We basically controlled the board though, then, because we had a lot of counter traps. This game we do not, so maybe we'll see them do something uh, like the full combo. Or maybe we'll see them time out. Who knows? I, I don't know. <laughs> one card I really don't have yet for the agent deck, but I might craft this card, I don't know. Sacred Waters. Oh, okay. 
Okay, Cyber Angel Akizana. What do you do? You can make your opponent send one spell they trap they control to the graveyard. Ah, interesting. Joke's on you, though. I got MST. Jabated. <laughs> you just got jabated. <laughs> When this attacking card destroys an opponent's monster by battle. Oh, well, I, don't, I don't have any monsters. Uh, okay. Uh, can I can activate this card and attack a second attack in a row. Oh, so it's kind of like a BLS. Targets a Cyber Angel Ritual monster. And shuffle one. Oh, okay, so I don't want to, I don't want to target them for an, uh, I'm gonna face a card that targets. Okay, so I can attack him, I just don't wanna target him. Makes sense? Hmm. If this card's ritual summoned. Okay, so the sending a spell or trap effect is over, right? Yeah. Well guys, we may have to do something a little crazy here. Um oh yeah, doesn't this protect my battle too? Ooh. Mm. Alright, let's summon Mystical Shine Ball in attack mode. And we're just gonna pass. <laughs> I hope he I hope like they don't summon any he doesn't summon any other monsters and just attacks into this. Because I'm gonna use Honest to defend during his turn. And then, you know, just hope we draw something. I think that's the best bet for this hand right here. Uh like cause hopefully they'll just see like with its effects. You know, technically oh bro. Bro, no, don't do that. That's, you know, that's just rude. Okay, I'm leaving out Voices of Solemn to protect my Mystical Shine Ball. <laughs> but yeah, the idea is basically, I don't want to use it on my turn because then he has the protection of this and I'm just dead. Okay, okay, that has low power. You can add a, um, that's kind of sucks. Cyber Egg Angel? Oh, this is based off Wing Egg L. Ah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Wait, why is this related to that card? Oh, because it's a cyber card? <laughs> that's funny. Uh, okay, well, they got this back online. I guess the field spill is pretty important. I guess. Oh, well, it does let you special summon. Yeah, okay. Okay, good decision. Good decision. I am glad this only has 200 attack, though. That makes me feel a little relieved, honestly. But they should be able to special summon a monster here. Oh, and this only has 300. Okay. Okay. We may be okay. But they get a ritual spell, so maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Man, if, if Honest saves me during this turn, then this is, like, amazing. <gasps> oh, and I just realized. Oh, okay, please don't play that. Because they took the ritual spell out of the graveyard. Just attack, just attack, bro. Just attack. Don't no ritual summon anything. Just attack. Just attack. Just attack. Just attack. You win. Just attack. Just attack. Think about it. You can use this effect. Just attack. Just attack. Just attack. Just attack. Just attack. Just attack. <laughs> if this works, I'm gonna have a mile. Come on, bro. Just attack. It's, it's, you know, it's easy. I don't have any back row. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. Oh, Exceed summoning. Oh, that is a pretty good effect. Wait, what does this do? Add it to your hand. Huh. And it's pretty good, I guess. And Hmm. Wow, this is probably like one of the worst Herald cards. Unfortunately, this card has 600 attacks, so there's a wrench in the in the in the plans, guys. He might not attack with this first. So yeah. Hmm. Herald of Pure Light. Yeah, because all the other Heralds negate. So. Hmm. Oh, he didn't go for it. He didn't go for it. Oh well. Oh well. I guess we'll show him the, the BM we have. Dang. 
Man, we were so close too because he took out his Herald, his, uh, you know, his Cyber Angel Ritual out of the graveyard. We were so close to pulling that off, man. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> man, that would that would have been crazy. Like, if, if that happened to me, I probably would have scooped. But, oh well, oh well. <laughs> he, he made the right move. But, we can finally get the 300, I think. Yes, we do. Okay, guys. Well, that's gonna be it for tonight. Uh, yeah. If you ha be happen to watch in the VOD later on YouTube, uh, I want to say thanks for joining me. And, uh, yeah, let's make sure I don't have any secret packs I want to renew while we're, while we're here. Um, yeah, I had, like, 15 hours, some, quite some time on these two. Two are the main ones we were pulling, so, uh, just for fun, let's open the Sky Striker pack to end this stream. Yeah, just one. Just for fun. And, uh, yeah, we'll call it, we'll call it good after that. Yeah. Alright, but yeah, hope you guys have a, a good week, weekend, and a good day. Uh, thanks for watching. Alright. Bye bye. Ooh, diameter. Not bad. Yeah. I think I needed another one of this two multi room. It's pretty good. Alright. I will open one more. Sure, one more, why not? Why not? Ooh, shiny. Hopefully that's not bait. <laughs> Ooh, we got an ultra. Hopefully it's a engage. Ooh, Tim Summon Skull. Alright, what's it gonna be? Oh, that's a pretty good card too. Yeah. You control no monsters in your main monster zone. Except Sky Strikers. In one of the cards of your graveyard, you do a special summon a Sky Striker Ace monster from your extra deck. Yeah. If you have at least one. Light or dark sky strikers on the field gains a thousand. That's pretty good, honestly. And is that is that royal? Is that like super shiny? Looks pretty good. Okay, well, cool. And that renews the secret pack for us. So that was worth it. That's pretty lucky to get an ultra out of two packs. <laughs> so okay. Alrighty, guys. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Yeah.